practicing some of the mock questions on the Baidu, Baidu's exam prep uh, application itself. That gave me an opportunity to get familiarized with the pattern of the like how what kind of questions do they ask. Test series definitely plays an important part. Hello guys, welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight. Yes, a show where we bring our toppers into the spotlight and listen to their journey. The journey of the success, the journey of the pain all that they have taken throughout the year to get the best result in the gate. Yes guys, today I have Rashul with me and he has secured all India rank 12 in computer science and engineering in the gate 2023. So first of all Rashul, welcome to the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight and a big congratulations for you know a very good rank in the first attempt of uh, your gate examination. So Rashul, Rashul let us start the, you know this talk by having a small introduction about you, tell us something about you, where do you belong from? From what is your you know bachelor's from and etc. Sure. So yeah, hi everyone. So I'm Rashul Chutani. Uh, I'm from Faridabad, Haryana, and I'm pursuing uh, B Tech here at IIT Delhi. I'm in my final year of the undergrad, uh, and yeah, like I've secured uh, AIR 12 in Gate CSE uh, with the uh, marks 85.67. So so yeah, really excited to be here. Yeah, right. Thanks for this. So, uh, Rashul, uh, my first question to you is, is this your first attempt of GATE or did you attempt in third year also? Because these is many students appear in third year. Yeah, so this is like just uh, just my first attempt of okay. uh, GATE. So, great. So, first attempt to you have done the best. So, definitely if you have got the best rank in first attempt with 85.67 marks. So, you know, you must have been really consistent with your preparation. So, let us talk about your entire journey. Yeah. So, since you have, uh, you know, got this rank, what do you believe? How a competitive GATE examination is? I think uh, gate is really competitive. That's that's definitely the case. In fact, it has become like even more popular with more and more PSUs and MTECs and all of the foreign universities also accepting gate score uh, as a metric for admission. So clearly, like more and more people want to ace the exam uh, in, in in their subject areas. So so yeah, I think it's definitely competitive. But uh, but I think with the correct preparation and like focus on the fundamentals, uh, it's not that difficult to crack. Yeah, correct. So as you mentioned, focus on fundamentals. Yeah. So my next question is, you know, what what plays a major role in gate? Whether it is concepts, fundamental, or whether yeah. it is formulas, what are more yeah. important for building a rank in gate? I think for any exam, uh, like leave apart gate, any any sort of exam for that matter, I think it's just your love for the subject that matters. So I really like love studying and teaching computer science and everything of that sort. And I'm really passionate about these cutting edge technologies that like keep coming in our uh, sort of domain. So I think yeah, this is just the love for the for the subject that that exam caters to, and I think you'll be good to go. Definitely, yeah. you know, I believe the same because I still till date remember, although yeah. I appeared in gate now quite some years back, but yeah. uh, you know, whenever I was preparing, it is one of the memorable phase of my life because I enjoyed it. Yeah. So guys, that is the first thing. You know, many students take it as a pressure. Yeah. Okay, and they are not able to perform. So you should not be nervous or pressurized about it. Just enjoy each and every day. Yeah. This is a phase of life. Yeah. And if you do it with, you know, enjoyment, you're going to get some decent results out yeah. of there. Yeah. Right. So, Rashul, you mentioned about the concept part, the fundamental part. But, you know, in competitive exam, question yeah. practice also plays a role. And especially exam like GATE, IITs are making it. So, they don't repeat the question. 99% questions are fresh. So, how do you cater? How did you cater to those questions? I mean, what was your problem solving capabilities from where did you solve the problem? How many questions you solved? So, tell us everything about your problem solving capabilities. Sure. So for me, like it was first getting well versed with the fundamentals itself because like as I mentioned, they are the sort of most basic part that you must definitely be uh, well versed with. So once I was done uh, with that, I moved on to like practicing some of the previous year questions and like mock questions on the Baiju, Baiju's exam prep uh, application itself. Okay. So uh, like that gave me an opportunity to get familiarized with the pattern of the like how what kind of questions do they ask in the exam itself and also get familiarized with the exam environment and everything. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I think that was my strategy for the question solving part. Okay, great, great. So you first took the motivation and checked the level from PYQs, okay? Because yeah. of course, uh, we also keep telling the students that PY previous year questions don't repeat, but you yeah. must solve them so that you get an idea ki what level you have to touch, yeah. right? And at least you will get a good practice yeah. from there as well. So before we move to anything, I mean, an honest answer I need from you, Rashul. So, you know, you are uh, currently in final year of computer science, IIT Delhi. Yeah. So definitely, you know, at this stage, you must have believed al already that, you know, mm -hmm. you can get a really good placement. But despite of that, uh, you have uh, decided of getting the gate. You worked hard. So why? I mean, you know, usually computer science, especially from the top IITs, they go for placement. So yeah. what is your uh, angle in that? 
Yeah, so basically I come from a family where like many of my generations have been in like the government job. My okay. father, uh, my mother, my sister, my grandparents, both oh. my paternal and maternal grandparents have been in the uh, government <laughs> job. So getting to PSUs was one of the best sort of, I'd say, motivation for me right. to like crack gate. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, the exam in general itself like offers you a way, like offers you like way too many opportunities. Right. Uh, just not like PSUs, you can go for masters in foreign universities and everything. Everything. Definitely. So definitely, I think it's a good exam to so crack. So I can say that ratio is most likely looking for PSUs. Yeah. Or is it M Tech oriented also right now? Mind. I'd say I'll decide once I like have the opportunities on the ah, table. Right, but yeah, right. you, you're correct in the assumption. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so one question here is, hello, we we keep talking to the students, but I want your opinion in this because many computer science students they believe that there are not enough PSU opportunities for computer science. So what what do you believe on that? Because if you have prepared, so you might have already surveyed. Yeah. Ki, you know, if you are keeping in mind that PSU is yeah, so you yeah. might have noticed how many PSUs are there. So what is your opinion in that? How many PSU or government opportunity a computer science student can have? through the gate examination. Yeah, I think like with this digital India kind of thing catching up mm. all of the PSUs and the focus of the government has like shifted on to having like more of computer science oriented students uh, into their companies. So even IOCL, ONGC, I think they've already like even released their advertisements for uh, yes. gate 2023. So I think yeah, like uh, with this sort of trend keeping on uh, like continuing for the next uh, decade or so, I think the opportunity for CS students and the PSUs would definitely yeah. increase. Yeah, that's what. And, and I think that is what slightly students are understanding and they are making their cell adapt to the gate examination. Yeah. So, uh, Rachel, you mentioned on concepts and then you told us about your practice journey. You have looked into the PYQs yeah. as well. But despite of all these things, you know, many students, they are just fearful about the tests. Yeah. So I would like to know your test journey, right? When did you start your test series? Did you attempt subject wise test or directly mock test? How many mock tests and how important a test series is for the aspirant? Yeah. So I think like uh, the test series, like having a like real time prep of that uh, sort of uh, environment that you sit into when you are like giving the exam is really, really important. And test series is definitely a mock kind of way to simulate that environment. So I'd say test series definitely plays an important part just so that you don't get like nervous during the exam like and, and you're able to perform to your best. Mm. So so yeah, I think test series, I, I attempted like all of these full hour tests for gate itself just mm. so that I could get familiar with sitting for uh, three hours and attempting yes. those stuff. So yeah, I think. That's yeah, exactly, you know, time management is one angle, but you know, many students, uh, they are not able to adapt to three hours also because now yeah. it's not a pen paper based yeah. examination. It's an on screen online examination. Sometimes students maybe just one and a half, two hours later, they are frustrated sitting yeah. on the screen. So you have to make habitual yourself and time management also plays a very crucial yeah. role. Unless and until you practice at least five, seven mocks, you don't get yeah. an idea ki, you know how much time you require to complete a moderate level That's of paper as yeah. well. So you know, on an average, what were your performance in the mocks, especially in the last? Uh, I used to get uh, like good enough marks in the mocks uh, too. Uh, but yeah, like there were some questions that I would lack upon, like let's say a computer networks question that mm -hmm. I couldn't solve in that environment, even though I knew like the step by step uh, method of that. So what I'd, I like, I do after attempting that paper, I'd go through my results and check like which were the areas wherein I performed poorly, and then just go ahead and like uh, revisit those areas to sort of understand them better, and then again attempt the test. Right, series. that is what yeah. is the correct meaning of test series. Not only attempting it, but analyzing it. Yeah. Right, definitely, if you are appearing a three-hour mock test, I think you need at around one, one and a half hours just for the analysis of this okay. and you know noting it down, just not analysis. Now, if you have analyzed and got to know that this is the weak area, you should work on it. Okay, that's what is going to gradually convert yourself into a topper. Yeah. Right. So, during your preparation journey, any any hurdles, any subject troubled you or anything in general that troubled yeah, you yeah. that was, you know, slightly demotivating for you, anything like that? Yeah, so in the beginning, I was not able to like finish the exam uh, within like uh, the three hour limit that we have for gate. Mm -hmm. So, I'd usually have like these five, seven questions left in the end that like I would not have time for. So that was one thing that I definitely struggled with. But with time, you sort of develop that habit of like uh, doing it within time and not spending too much time on a particular question and like being able to go through all of the questions uh, within that time limit. So yeah, by the end of like the test series, like attempting the test series and then going for gate, I was like like well within the time limit and like sometimes I used to even complete it five ten minutes before uh, the exam. So that was a hurdle that I faced. Okay, great. Yeah. But but you eventually found a way to yeah. you know sort of overcome it. That's great. So computer science, I, as far as I remember, it was on 4th February this yeah. year. So, you know, exactly before going to the exam hall, uh, how was uh, how was your feeling? I mean, nervous or calm, confident? 
Yeah, I was not that nervous. I'd say I was calm and composed. I had attempted like way too many tests, so it was just like another test for me. Um, but yeah, like there's always some nervousness before like uh, something has yeah, to be there. If yeah. you are prepared, something has to be there because yeah. you believe there's something to lose out. That is what you know. Throughout the year, students keep on focusing on concepts and the question practice area. But the exam day definitely is a test of the concepts. But at the same time, that exam day three R is a very very important mental pressure test. And you can only be uh, you know really confident when you have solved a lot of mock tests. And that is where yeah. these things come into the picture. So uh, Rishul, uh, overall summarizing your preparation journey, you know, what are your important words of advice to the fellow aspirants, those who are going to appear in Gate Twenty Four or Gate Twenty Five? What are three or four important things that you should be targeting, uh, you know, in their preparation? Yeah, so I would say like first of all, uh, get started with like all of the subjects like that would be asked in the uh, like Gate exam. So computer networks, operating systems, data structures. Like visit each and every concept of that subject and like get well versed with that subject. Truly, that like even you can li write a subjective answer on that sort of uh, like subject. So first thing would be to get uh, sort of familiarized with the subject and once you are like well versed with the subjects it, it is just about like solving more and more questions or related to gate and then like staying calm on that day to just so that you can perform to the full potential that like you have studied and not like uh, make a silly mistake in the question so so yeah i think like these would be my pieces of advice to All the right, students. so guys definitely you know take uh, some important messages from Rachel because he has seen this exam closely worked hard got the rank in the first attempt and definitely you know if especially you're a college going student you can be confident enough that it is definitely possible several examples you have seen are getting ranks in the first attempt and even in third year students have started getting very good ranks so just about awareness and just about how you know you uh, monitor uh, your preparation how you just consistent throughout the preparation so Rachel three uh, important persons uh, you would like to mention for which uh, you know you are here right now with yeah. this rank sure i think first of all clearly like my parents i would say because they are always a source of inspiration for me so so like they always like keep on motivating me for like giving these competitive exams and cracking them and i think it's like not only the uh, child who scores uh, but al also the like parents efforts that uh, like are put into that so first of all my parents then there's like my sister who like who's always like my go to like uh, go to person to sort of ask anything like that i'm sort of worrying about or like i'm not finishing the syllabus or or things like that and then finally i'd say like my iit professors like who were like kind enough to sort of help me with all of the doubts that i had during the courses so yeah, it's a uh, these things. Right. Yeah. So, just one more question that I am, you know, having in my mind right now. That you know, when actually an aspirant uh, should start preparing for this examination? What is the correct time to begin for gate preparation? Yeah, so like, uh, if you're in a computer science uh, degree course, uh, you like always like have uh, computer science courses right from your second year itself. So for me, it was uh, the beginning of the second year itself that I sort of like started indirectly preparing for gate. I like learned the fundamental courses of data structures, computer architecture and even operating systems in my second and third year itself. So that was definitely one help that I could like complete all the preparation within the sort of this, uh, this time span. In the fourth year, like I just got a bit too serious about uh, the exam and then like it was more focused on applying those concepts in the exam environment. So yeah. yeah. And definitely whatever college you may be into, whether it is IIT, NIT or even private, you know, I believe that and even computer science or even IC electronics branch or any other branch, yeah. most of the gate subjects are related with the second and third year of yeah. engineering subjects. Yeah. So yeah, I think second and third year is a very ideal time to start preparation. Okay guys, so this was the Baiju's exam prep spotlight and today we have listened to the success story and the journey, the hard work, the you know all efforts behind uh, the All India Rank 12 of Rachel. So thank you once again Rachel for joining uh, the Baiju's exam prep spotlight and I believe if even few students are able to get uh, you know success from your words, from your story, we are successful in you know bringing up the spotlight to the students. Thank you once again guys, stay safe and take care of yourself.